Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video we will be walking through, or I will be walking through, what I have packed in my Subaru Crosstrek conversion. So, I am currently in Truckee right now. I have been skiing Palisades the past week, week and a half, um, staying at a close family friend's house. Special thanks to the Ponds for hosting me on my travels. And I am repacking my car to head down to Mammoth um, within the next day, but I thought it would be a good idea to do a gear review or what I pack in my car while um, I'm in the process of packing. It's just easier if I have the whole inner layer clear with nothing on top of it. Just to state, links um, for all of the products or whatever I can find will be posted in the video description. I am an Amazon affiliate. So any Amazon products that you buy through those links will benefit me. And some products, although, are not on Amazon. But I will post those links too in case you guys are interested. As for the Crosshair Camper, so what I have designed in my car, um, I already have a video on it, but if you're interested in the plans or building it yourself, the digital plans are available on Etsy. And that is also, I believe, in my channel description. You can click on the Etsy link through there. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right, let's start in the back. I'll walk you through what we have. We have some cooking utensils here, tongs and a spatula. We have a camping stove, I think it's an MSR. Yep. For this bay, these are just extra liners I have for my snowboard boots. This is a sun shower. Probably never gonna use this considering I have a Plant Fitness membership, but it's always fun to have water filter some of the stuff i have down here this is a dry bag and camelback reservoir cleaning kit harness this is just a license plate cover that i do sometimes in my videos but plates already out there so i don't really care anymore <laughs> uh this underneath everything is the leaf but for the uh, driver's side, in case I wanted to make the bed a full bed platform. And quickly over on this side, we have an extra pot, some plates, plastic plates. This is a tripod that I'm currently using. That's just the case for it, fits right there. Bunch of hand warmers, and beneath the hand warmers, there's a bag of electronics. It includes a bunch of batteries, rechargeable batteries, extra cords, zip ties, clamps, and scissors in there bunch of stickers I actually just put up several of these on the interior of my box I get to show you tissues this is a cutting board that you can slide out through the back for easy access and over in this corner we have window screens so these are actually bug nets this is a roller for the muscles a pump that goes into my car or Jackery and this is kind of the space where I store all of my stuff sacks so when this is down, this is kind of like a void space. Same with this. And let's continue on. Alrighty. So this is one of the chest spaces here. And this has basically toiletries, cleaning supplies. Um, and this goes for cleaning for the car or clothing. I got a bunch of laundry, air fresheners, like wool wash, all of this stuff in here. I mean, I can not even gonna go through everything here, but it's like toothpaste, lotions, there's nail clippers, all that stuff. But I have this bin um, for the reason of if anything does spill or explode, if it gets cold, it is contained. So let's go on to the other side. I'm gonna walk around. Or you know what, I'll do it from here. So on this side, there's not that much in here. I do have to go grocery shopping, but this is where I would put like ramen, cans, pasta, anything like that. I have some freeze dried meals in case I go camping. And I have hydration stuff in here. This is just extra, what do I have? Oatmeal and some pasta. Not even enough for a meal. But yeah, I do have to go shopping. And let's move on to the front. So in here, uh, I store most of the quick access stuff in this section. This has sunglasses, wipes. Um, these two things are too tall to be um, 
stored anywhere else and they have to be stored upright because they leak slightly so I have both of these stored here as well. A fan, GoPro chest mount, some vitamins, a brush, and I also keep uh, all of my camera supplies here so that I have two other bins of camera supplies as well as my toiletry bag. And that's just quick access here. And something that I didn't design, <laughs> but it actually works out really well, is this folds up. And if you fold this back, it holds it open. So pretty cool. Coming down to this section. So, uh, what do we have? Hand warmers, foot warmers, body warmers in this bag. Electric razor, a gimbal, massage gun, extra pole mount for my GoPro Max. This is a heating pad that I can plug into my Jackery. And this is just an extra wipe that I haven't used yet. As for door side storage, this is just usually a coffee canister that I use. And I use this frequently for wiping my snowboard off before I put it up in the box. All right, let's... The behemoth of storage up here, which is absolutely crazy. I actually put all of those stickers on this morning, super psyched. But let's run through what we have up here. So I got my, my shit bucket over here in case anything does go wrong. Have not used that in two years, <laughs> but it's kind of a necessity, especially when you're car camping. Uh, this is a tarp that I use as a ground tarp for backcountry camping. I have my snowboard waxing kit right here. It's an extra snowboard bag. My stove is located underneath that and I like to keep my stove up here instead of in the car for not only the smell, but just ease of access. I take one strap off and I can take the stove out with the propane. The propane is stored in this yellow bin. Along with a recovery strap, a D hook, solar panel wiring for if I wanted to charge my car battery and what else? I think it's just some extra hardware I do have in there. Coming back down to here, this is a scraper, extendable scraper, it works great. For reaching all the way around the car, this is a small stool-like chair that I use underneath the stove and the backpack is also a camping table. And I'm not listing the names of a lot of these things, but I will provide a general description and then the more specific product link. This entire side is my snowboard bag. So there's three snowboards in here. I have my split board on the inside, uh, all my split boarding supplies here. I have snowboard hardware in the middle, split board bindings, and on this side I have extra layers. So that kind of does it for all of that. And this bucket also contains everything I need in terms of bags, sealable stuff. Um, and there's actually a toilet seat right here that goes onto it. <laughs> Let's center this and I'll start to put everything in the car. Fully packed. Um, I'll, I guess I'll start walking through my stuff here. So I have just my Carhartt stuffed in there. This is my Osprey backpack. I basically use this for resort back or backcountry. Holds all of my Avi supplies too. This is my negative 20 sleeping bag from Nemo. Got this off of Amazon. This is an, an inflatable winter sleeping pad. This is just a summer pad from Thermarest. I guess it's the Ridgecrest. This holds most of my food supplies. Dry food doesn't require refrigeration um, for quick access here. And underneath it is the remainder of my clothing that I don't store in either one of these two bags. So this marmot bag holds all of my outer layers or under layers for skiing. Basically any technical wear goes in here. This one is more for regular clothes or sleeping clothes. This also comes in with me when I go to the gym to take showers. These are WeatherTech privacy screens or sunshades. This is just the one for the front windshield because the remainder of them can fit in between the two mattress pads. This one is just too big. It's the pillow that I have. Down here we have pot, pan, cover, and a little bit further in, 
Oh, I forgot to show you what we have down here too. So I'll get to that too. This is just a canvas bin that holds extra sho shoes, hats, and gloves. And here, this is all cooking supplies. So there's like plastic utensils, soaps, scrapers, um, wilderness soap. We have salt, pepper, some spices, sauces, and olive oil spray. And down here, this is more like camping oriented. As you can tell, it's not really accessible because I don't use that quite frequently, but there is a hammock camping tarp or tent um, that I can use for backcountry camping. And I don't necessarily need a hammock for it. It's just like a shelter. And this right next to it is a winter sleeping pad that's inflatable made for like backcountry because it's lightweight. Now what do we got up here? So I just shoved my shoes here. It's a convenient place and it fits well. This is my snowboard bag. It holds all of my lenses in here, lens cleaning, um, two boots, and my helmet. And this is not something that I usually show, but I use this quite frequently. And it is just a bottle that you can use the restroom in. <laughs> but onto the next side. This is my computer bag. This kind of floats around the car. I use this quite frequently given that I edit videos probably every day to every other day. And this is just an extra like Walmart bag that I use for my camping blanket as an added warmth layer when I need it or just for comfort if my sleeping bag is too hot. An additional camping pillow and a sleeping bag liner in this bag. So when I'm sleeping, this, this bag's pretty much empty. This space is kind of open right now and I can easily put this stuff on the bed over there. But these two things, they kind of lock into each other relatively well. It's not a perfect match, but I do have a strap that goes and prevents it from sliding forward and also locks this top bin down. This also works in the same configuration where this bin is in this area right here and I can still strap everything down. But I tend to like this a little better because then I don't have to move as much to access this bin. So this is my big winter boots, they're Sorel boots. I love them, sometimes they're a little overkill. And here, also a trash can. What I'd say is, trash can is probably one of the most crucial <laughs> components I have in my car to keep it clean. And I don't have it in the car right now, but I do put my gallon water bottle right in between uh, the middle section between the two, right, right behind the center console. And coming up to the front, fully clear for driving. This is just um, stored right here. So you just slide it back and it's pretty much out of the way from yourself so you can get in and out of the car and still move the seat up and back. As for the power source, I forgot to go over this as well. We have my Jackery. It's only a Jackery 240, but it does the work for what I do. And I guess tissues and just a little charging port station in there so at the end of the day I don't need to pull out all my chargers I can just slap the batteries into those sections and I guess a quick look at the uh, solar panel just two 40 watt panels connected and routed into my car through a slight crack in the window and it goes to my Jackery to charge during the day when the Sun is out but I think that is just about it I'm gonna do a little walkthrough or walk around sorry just did the whole walk through. And I have switched some stuff around from previous videos just for convenience. Um, like I said, the stove up top is for convenience. It's just easier access, same with these pots switched them to this location because it was quite frustrating every single time I wanted to cook to try to get underneath here I kind of reserve this space underneath the platform because there's a lot of stuff on it for long-term storage oh and I guess I'll open this up right now I just cleaned this so it's completely empty but this is an extra like soft cooler that I have in case I am doing anything throughout the day or I want to keep it in my car while I'm doing longer drives 
and this is more for long-term um, food storage that needs to remain cold two gallon gas tank on the back I filled this baby up when gas was 265 like midway across the country and I am in Truckee right now and guess how much the gas is it is $5.99 which is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> so hey half the price thank you for making it this far in the video if you enjoyed the video please drop a like and if you want to see more content like this or follow me on my travels please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in the Crosstrek camper the link is in my channel description and the plants are for sale on Etsy if you are interested in any products that I didn't list in the video description please just shoot me a comment or an Instagram DM I'll try to find it for you otherwise all of the Amazon links will benefit me and all of the other links are there for you guys so that's all for this video uh, I'm heading to Mammoth either tonight or tomorrow likely tomorrow and probably gonna leave relatively early so I can get to the mountain but that is all have a good day and uh, safe travels.